What role did Mark Medoff play in your early life? Mark Medoff played kind of the master role. Mark Medoff, playwright, wrote Children of a Lesser God um, uh, and resides in Las Cruces, New Mexico, which is where New Mexico State University is. We lived in, Alba we lived in Rodoso, but f uh, frequented Albuquerque, because <laughs> that's where my dad's parents lived. So we were mostly University of New Mexico people, but in Las Cruces was New Mexico State University. And when I was um, a very precocious teen, uh, about to enter high school um, in Ruidoso, which was a very small town, they thought that they being the uh, Churchill Cook, the choir director, and Danny Flores, the band director of the elementary and middle and, and high school, they thought that I should go to some performing arts high school which seemed very much like going to military school. <laughs> it made no sense. It was like, leave your parents and spend four years in a dorm room with people that you don't know. So that wasn't going to happen. But instead, we found out that there was this drama camp that happened for one week at New Mexico State University. And it was all about high schoolers learning uh, freeze tag and playwriting and cold reading audition classes. And Mark Medoff uh, was in charge of it. He was the big draw because he was the big famous um, playwright. So we went and I got to go. I was on the youngest end of that. It was amazingly fun. I had never met any people that were so fun and uh, creative and sort of inventive. So Mark Medoff chose me in a line of people randomly to be in his cold reading audition class which was just him in his office with, you know, 11 kids, and he gave everyone some sides from a movie and sent them in the hallway, and then one at a time you would just come in and you would do the scene straight away. No, rehears no rehearsing, no practicing. And uh, it was cool that it was Mark Benoff, and I did it. It was fun, and I hung out with his daughters who were in the camp. They were fun. And then I left, and he uh, took a shine to me and had been writing a movie called Clara's Heart, this Whoopi Goldberg vehicle based on a novel of the same name. And he, they were looking for this kid to play the lead in it. And I knew none of this. And he talked to my parents at the end of the week and asked them if, I, if they'd be willing to let me audition for this movie. And so I, uh, then my parents told me I auditioned for it, didn't get it. Um, they cast another actor and had a different director, and then they ended up having some kind of shakeup. The director left, a new director came on board, the actor left, and then they called me and asked if I would come meet with Whoopi Goldberg. And I flew to Malibu and got to sit in Whoopi Goldberg's living room on the beach at the point when she was going from the small dreads to the long dreads. <laughs> Just post Jumpin' Jack Flash. So I walked into the living room and there's Whoopi Goldberg like covered in like a barber's smock. She's like, hello. <laughs> you must be Neil. And I was just gobsmacked by the notion that this famous, super famous woman was even knowing my first name. And we sat and talked for a while, and I talked with the director, and I ended up getting that job. But it was through Mark Medoff's kind of championing the idea that this no one kid um, that he met in a cold reading audition class could be capable of being in that movie. Uh, without him, uh, I never would have gotten that opportunity, and through that opportunity would never have... Uh, gotten an agent or any of that stuff. So yeah, I kind of owe m much of my career to that man.